You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. We got a clarity test request on Dan Bilzerian. Uh, a buddy of mine has mentioned him before. Dan Brandon Bilzerian, born 1980, is an American internet personality and professional poker player who, as a trust fund beneficiary, is mostly known for his lavish lifestyle. Okay, so we're just going to give him a point right off the bat on the Cleary test. Uh, he was born in Tampa, Florida, the son of a corporate takeover specialist, Paul Bilzerian and Terry Steffen. He's the brother of fellow poker player Adam Bilzerian. He's of American descent through his father. That's the first time I've ever seen Wikipedia just say, yeah, he's an American. They didn't go back like 20 centuries ago. Oh, well, you know, he was uh, like, you know, he came from like uh, Polish, Portuguese parents. And no, he's just an American. Father was a corporator on Wall Street who set up trust funds for both his sons. Bilzerian entered the Navy SEALs training program in 2000. After several attempts, he did not graduate. He was reportedly dropped from the program for a safety violation on the shooting range of a military career. World University of majoring in business, Ooh, business, criminology, poker career. Bilzerian crashed in the 2009 World Series poker event, finishing in 180th place. That doesn't sound good. 2010 votes funniest poker players. 10 other blah, 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 blah. personal life. Splits his time between homes in Hollywood's California and Las Vegas, Nevada. I haven't seen him yet. Because of his lavish lifestyle and heavy drug abuse, Bilzerian reportedly suffered three heart attacks before the age of 32. Really? Did he? Super producers of Lone Survivor, banned from Miami Nightclub, for, kick, for kicking model Vanessa Castano. This sounds like a whole lot of shit old Clearmeister doesn't want nothing to do with. Uh, arrested. Ba -ba -ba -do -do. All I've heard about him is like what physical feats he's done. All right, let's let's get let's get serious. All right, let's get serious. Um, does he come from money? Yes. Did he major in something stupid? Um, I don't think he majored in anything. So he doesn't get a point there. I mean, it's better not to major in anything than something stupid. Has he worked a real job in his life? Um, it's impressive he joined the military. And he went to the Navy SEAL. So he, he does have real working experience. So we can't give him a point on that. What is he doing now? I, as far as I can tell, he's living off his dad. So he doesn't he gets uh, a point for that. So came from wealth. Does he have real world working experience? Yeah, I got to give him that. I mean, and the fact that he's made like money doing his things that he does, he gets real world experience in that. Uh, did he major something stupid? No. What's he doing now? He's, he's basically living... He, 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 I'm, I'm going to give him another full point because what he's doing is living off of his dad's money. Um, and it, it's really kind of like, oh, you're a poker player, you're an internet personality. Well... Yeah, I know what that. Uh, nah, he gets he gets two points. He gets two points. Should he run for office? No, he shouldn't. Um, I don't trust anyone coming from money. I mean, if there was like one thing that I'm like, yeah, if you came from money, you never had to work for it. You don't get to run for public office. Would I want to have a beer with him? No, not really. Not particularly. He seems a little bit too dude broy for me. Um, I'm very impressed with his physical accomplishments. He's not exactly. This is where I'm kind of like. This is what Wikipedia says, but then I also know some buddies who follow me. The man's quite accomplished in physical feats, and he doesn't just lie on his ass. But I'm not... I, I just... I'm sorry I'm not that impressed if you come from money. I'm just not. You, you've had, like, this huge leg up. I'm not all into the privilege thing, but when you come from, like, millions of dollars, and you just, like... It, it's not even... Not even comparable. Not even comparable to some schmuck working over at McDonald's. I'd rather, take, I'd rather talk to a schmuck working at McDonald's than talk to Dan Bilzerian because the schmuck from McDonald's actually had to suffer a little bit. This guy, look, he looks like a playboy. And that's nothing wrong with it. But, I don't know, what's a playboy going to tell me? You know, how is this individual? Oh, give me Stefan Molyneux. Give me fucking the great one. Give me uh, Adam Pigott. Give me anybody. I don't, <clears throat> I don't care to talk to somebody who came from wealth. I just don't. I mean, maybe him and what's his name? Uh, oh, who's the king of Canada? 
Trudeau, Justin Trudeau. Maybe those guys could talk about their dad's money. I just, I'm not that impressed with this guy. So, all right, that's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.